Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Uh, we are in the middle of an ongoing series of work that we're doing on the Unitrend's rapid recovery uh, appliance. We're testing the 7-Eleven unit uh, here. Uh, it is a uh, the, the these units are uh, turnkey systems that you can install into your environment uh, and get a full enterprise backup application up and going fairly quickly. Uh, so uh, today we're going to focus in on just adding a client. Uh, the last videos uh, we just showed to, uh, basically getting some simple backup jobs done and things like that. So to get started, uh, we need to add a client, and I happen to have a Windows VM running here. Uh, we'll need to make note of the IP address. Uh, you can see that we've got a relatively small C drive and then a, um, a barely used uh, iSCSI volume uh, uh, drive E. So we'll go over here to uh, configure in the uh, Unitrans interface, and we're going to add this uh, to our host table. So we just click on hosts. We just click on add another host. And we'll just call this uh, Windows 2008 VM. And we just hit confirm. And we get the uh, note that it was added successfully, so we are good to go there. And then we'll come back over here to uh, configure. We'll add a client. And we just click on add client. And we can uh, set various options if we want to. We'll just go ahead and click confirm here. And the client was successfully added. Plus OK to reload the navigational tree. And you can see here that the client has been added. So we just want to uh, very simply here do a backup job. And we'll go ahead and do a backup now. Uh, we'll tell it to go ahead and do a, a master backup. We'll click on. This also, by the way, is a, gives you a good idea of how easy it is to uh, get a backup going. one. We'll just highlight Windows VM. We'll let it go ahead and back up everything so we're not going to worry about excluding or including any options at this point in time. And we're going to leave the selection list and exclusion list blank. And we're not going to worry about any uh, client options either. And that's about it. Pretty simple. And we'll just hit back up now. And you can see that the request succeeded here. So we're all set and ready to go. And if we go to our uh, configure, or, or, I'm sorry, our tools screen, click on job status. And you can see it's sending the, the master backup request uh, to the Windows box. And uh, uh, the backup uh, is going. Uh, while we're letting that uh, get started, we can just take a quick look here at the status window. You can see we've ran several backups. Some have gone well. Some have uh, not completed all the way through. Um, we've had a, a couple of failures. This particular client is, number one, very large and is up and down often. So uh, that, that's probably uh, most of the problem there. So let's go back to tools here and make sure our job is going. Yep, you can see it's saying it's receiving files, so we're good to go. Everything's working very well. Uh, we'll uh, check back in here in a little bit to make sure the backup's complete, but uh, you can get an idea here how easy it is to add a client. Uh, of course, this is a manual ad. You can use some of the more automated uh, methods as well, uh, but it gives you a good idea of how easy it is to add a client and get a backup uh, going uh, without really too much uh, work uh, entailed. 
So again, George Crump uh, with Storage Switzerland. Uh, we'll keep you updated on our testing of the Unitrends uh, Rapid Recovery Appliance. Thank you.